Hi guys, welcome to our playroom and another episode of HGG Home, our DIY design and lifestyle series. This is a space that we spend a lot of time and I'm excited to give you guys a tour, but first let's take a look at what this space looked like before. Originally, this space was used as a multi-purpose workout play and guest room. However, it was just too crowded. So we moved the elliptical upstairs and the queen mattress became my daughter's bed. And we built a smaller day bed for when my mom comes to visit. We've really created a total transformation. I'm really excited to give you a tour. So let's get started. So first, let's start in this corner, which is the play kitchen. My kids both love this kitchen and make many meals here every day from pretend pie to soup. I also love this letter board from Letter Folk. You can change out the words, but honestly I forget, so it stays the same most of the year. So this DIY project turned out so good. Aaron and I made this chalkboard. really fun for drawing on and my daughter loves to practice writing her name and her letters. I wanted a schoolhouse green color for the chalkboard and it turned out so well. The paint we used for the chalkboard and the stain for the wood trim are both from Ecos Paints. We love Ecos Paints. They are non-toxic and free from VOCs and harsh odors. They have a ton of paint colors to choose from but you can also color match to get the shade you like which is what we did to get this exact green color I wanted for the chalkboard. I made this banner with the days of the week using cards from a company called Kindergarten Toolkit. She makes minimalist preschool learning tools for ages two to six, and some of her other cards include shapes, numbers, letters, words. We use them all the time and we love them. Above the chalkboard is this schoolhouse style clock. I just love the way it looks. We also have this banner that wraps around most of the room. It's really neutral, but adds some whimsical fun to the space. So over in this corner, we have this beautiful day bed that Erin built. Before we had a queen size bed in this room and it just took up too much space. The mattress that we had before is now my daughter's bed and now we have this day bed which works really well as a cozy place to read a book or it works well as a guest bed when we have guests visit. I found a similar looking day bed as inspiration and my husband recreated it using the same stain as the chalkboard. Erin did such a good job building this bed. The mattress that we have is an avocado green mattress and we love their mattresses and pillows. Avocado mattresses are made with natural, renewable, and certified organic materials. They are also the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on. This is the twin. We also have a king in our bedroom and my daughter also loves her avocado toddler pillow. Definitely check them out if you're looking for a new pillow or mattress. The lighting for this room was a bit tricky because we actually do not have a light fixture in this room. So we decided to hang a pendant lamp and to keep the cord from being too obvious, we kept the light in the corner close to the bed. Above the bed is this quote from Theodore Roosevelt, which I really love. It's a very inspiring, incredible quote. We are related to Theodore Roosevelt, so not only is it an amazing quote, but it's also extra meaningful because it's a part of our family. This piece is from Letters and Laurels, a small business I love, and she has so many great pieces like this. I want our children growing up knowing about their family and where they come from, and so I hope having this quote in the playroom inspires them to be brave and bold. In this corner of the room, we have our book wall. I like to rotate the books and make fun book walls with our holiday books. It just makes our books feel new and exciting again. And this pendant above the book wall is from Letters and Laurels. 
So now you're probably noticing the wallpaper. I really wanted wallpaper in this room. We've never put up wallpaper before, so it was definitely a learning experience, but I love how it turned out. It's a really simple pattern, but it adds a lot of fun to this space. The wallpaper is from Lovett's Wallpaper, and I chose it because of both the really cute design and also that it's made with 100% non-woven material that doesn't contain PVC, plasticizers, glass fibers, heavy metals, or formaldehyde. The inks used to print the wallpaper patterns also have Green Guard certification, all important elements for selecting a non-toxic wallpaper. The wallpaper wraps around the corner behind the door and we haven't done much with this space yet, but we did have some extra wood from our project so we stained it to match the chalkboard and are using it as a growth board to measure the kids height and they really, they grow so fast. On this wall we also have our bookshelves to organize our toys and books. A few art pieces include this original rainbow art made by my daughter, and I also love this print, which I got from Minted. We love Minted for art. They have so many cute pieces. Lastly, when we need to get the wiggles out, we bring out the Pikeler triangle with the ladder and the arch from Wood and Hearts, and the kids love playing on this. It helps develop gross motor skills, physical strength, and learning through play, and I just love watching them figure out how to make their way from one side to the other, and they have so much fun crawling all over this. There are a few things I still want to do in this space, such as add shutters on the window instead of the blinds that we currently have. And like any space, I'm sure I'll add things to it over the years that I love. Hopefully a lot of original art and crafts from the kids. However, I love how this space turned out. It's our playroom, it's our dance party room, it's where we read a ton of books, we make pretend pie, and it's been really fun sharing a tour with you. Links for everything that I've mentioned are in the video description box below and also on our blog at healthygrocerygirl.com. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.